Uh oh. Uh oh. David and Joku has a big time quarterback, and that's Deshaun Watson. Now listen, I know Deshaun Watson may miss a few games next year or this coming up year, right? I'm not. I do, I don't care. I don't care if he miss any games. Because I know when he gets out there on the field, David Njoku is going to eat. And the reason why David Njoku is going to eat, guys, is this guy is a great talent. He has great athleticism. This guy runs a 4 5 40. He jumps out the gym and he's 6 3. So all he needs is a quarterback that can hyper target him. Why you think they franchise tagged him? Yes, they franchise tagged David Njoku. So, guys. If you want a tight end sleeper, especially in a tight end premium league, you can wait late to get this guy. And this guy can actually contend as a top five tight end. Yes, I said it. He can contend as a top five tight end in fantasy football. Guys, Deshaun Watson is elite. He has never had an elite tight end like David Njoku, whose athletic ability is through the roof. All he's looking for, all David Njoku has been looking for to take his game to the next level is a quarterback that's accurate and that has a big time arm. So this is the reason why that they uh, kept David Njoku and let Austin Hooper go, that they paid more money early in his career. They still hold on to Hunter Bryant, but Hunter Bryant is on his rookie contract. David Njoku was getting franchise tag as a tight end. You don't franchise tag tight ends if you don't need them. So, guys, make sure you pick up David Njoku. He's going to be a top five tight end this year or the possibility of being a top five tight end. Either way, he's a great uh, guy to wait for in your drafts to get value at the tight end position. Peace.